You can also set up a dedicated room. One of the suggestions Dr. Phillips has, he said, look, you've got a big clinic, you really want to run with this, you buy six lounges, you put a flat screen TV on the wall, you set up six treatment units, and you have these patients are being treated continuously throughout the day. You literally can set yourself up as a neuropathy treatment center in this way if you want to take the ball and run with it. Honestly, you, you are just uh, seriously um, underestimating the effectiveness of this if you decide not to do it. It is so ridiculously inexpensive. Um, I, again, I'm just blown away by the results that I've seen in my practice and in, uh, in my patients. And, and the economics of it are good, too. And they're good for the patient, which is the other thing that I like. Um, supply good clinical records to the patient, good documentation for all the reasons we spoke about earlier, but also to aid reimbursement. Um, treatment, very cost effective, like we said. The other thing, as I said earlier, it fosters patient independence, promotes you as the wellness practitioner on follow-ups, OVs. The huge referral potential is there. And this is what I want to talk about, the marketing. The marketing program, though, was very exciting. And this is something I want to talk about because what I got to do is to do one of the things that I really like to do as a consultant for you guys, and that is to test new things and see how well they work and how quickly they work. What I did is once I learned the physiology, once I went back, reviewed the biochemistry, and saw the enormous pot potential for this, I sat down and I composed a two-page newsletter. I did one for patients. I did one for medical physicians. The very, very, very first thing I did before I even bought a unit is I mailed the newsletter to 120 area medical doctors. This is the newsletter that I wrote for them. And the newsletter starts out by saying, doctor, we've all had patients in our practice who have peripheral neuropathy that we all wish we could do more to help. The drugs don't help nearly as much as you or I would like. Well, now there's good news. And then I get on you know, talking about the physiology and so on and so forth. I did this once. I did this twice. The third time I did it with my case studies. After I saw the case studies, especially my wheelchair patient, I was just blown away. I did case studies, sent those out to these medical doctors again with the newsletter that I wrote for them. I also have the patient version of the newsletter. I put the patient version of the newsletter um, out in the community. I was invited immediately to do a one half an hour radio show. I got calls from that radio show. I wrote a radio ad, I wrote a newspaper ad, all based upon the taglines that I created in that newsletter, and they pass the ultimate test. I think this is something that you really can use very, very powerfully in your practice. Before I close, though, a couple other uses that I'm finding with this unit. I have a patient, I actually have several patients, you probably do too, who have diabetes extensively, and they have diabetes long enough not only to get the eye disease, but they get the neuropathy that affects the lumbosacral plexus. These patients start to lose bowel and bladder function. We've started to use this on their lumbosacral spines to stimulate the pelvic plexus, and we're getting positive results. That's amazing. The other cases that we're starting to use, failed backs. Failed backs, these patients come in, um, they have back surgeries. The two that I'm thinking of have both had fusions. One was a cage fusion, one was an, an, the new interbody spacer, the so-called artificial disc. Um, turns out six months after surgery, both these patients are symptomatic again, bilateral sciatica. We're using the device in these patients and they're getting relief. So we're really, I think, just starting to scratch the surface on the usefulness of this. It's very, very safe. It's very, very effective. Price isn't going to stay what it is now for long because uh, Dr. Phillips obviously sees the potential in this. He's invested 30 years of his life in devices like this. This is a really good time to get involved. And uh, again, if you'd like to join me in uh, helping your patients, I'd be honored. Thank you so much.